Hey guys, it is Michelle. So please pardon my hair, it's a little messy. It's been really, really rainy here. Um, but, you know, life goes on and I'm a little frizzy. And I made the mistake of going out walking in the rain, but, you know, we make it work. Um, so I wanted to do, whew, my, my hair is stuck on my necklace. So I'm trying to do that while we're talking. So I wanted to do an outfit of the day, but I wore to work. Um, this one's, you've seen before, but it's a little, something different than we've been seeing a little bit lately. So I really like this outfit. Um, this was actually given to me by a subscriber. So if you're watching, thank you. I still love it. Um, it's one of my favorites actually. Um, anyway, so my makeup today is pretty simple. I'm wearing Honey um, by Urban Decay. I'm wearing my hoop earrings and I'm wearing this necklace that I got, um, where did I buy this? Oh, the Divine, I bought it at a church gift shop. Divine, I can't remember, um, but it's the Holy Mother and the baby Jesus. Um, so let's get started. Oh, and let me show you the hosiery that I'm wearing because you always seem to ask and I have the box. So this was a two pack. This is Leg Sheer Energy Compression Sheer Tight and Medium Leg Support with a Reinforced Toe. So I'm wearing the second pair and that was in there. Um, so let's get started. So this is the outfit. So this is kind of one of those rockabilly um, 50s era, although I believe that this is more of a 40s era style dress. Um, I need to get a petticoat. I think with a petticoat, this would look fantastic. Um, but yeah, this is one of those older styled dresses. Um, but like I said, I think it's from the 40s. It could be the early 50s, but I can see a 50s feel within the dress as well. I love it. I think it fits my curves beautifully. Um, that's why I do like that genre because I feel like it fits my body type um, better. So that's just me. Um, but yeah, I love the red. I think it's super cute. Um, as you can see, we went with a black pantyhose, which I really do think adds to the whole look. And um, I'm going to put you on the ground so that we can see the shoe. You've seen the shoe a little bit recently. Now I did, um, I did wear the flat version of this in my car, but I did wear them briefly outside, but the bottoms on these are still pretty good. I do try to baby them, but these are my Tory Burch wedges. Cause I wanted something with a rounded toe. I almost went with, um, a kitten heel that I had that's a pointed toe, but I don't think it had the same feel. It didn't fit the look, if that makes sense. Whereas I feel like this rounded toe with the wedge definitely adds to the allure of the outfit. I typically wear a nude pantyhose with this particular um, dress, but I do love the black. I'm really feeling it, especially on a rainy, cold day. So, I do really like what I do without. So, I, I do, I am going with my friend to finally get a pedicure done. Um, I'm very, very excited for that because I need one desperately. And then they can take this crap off my feet and um, we could do something about that. But you can see it does have a reinforced toe on the hosiery which I do like, um, maybe not necessarily for an open toe shoe, but when it's in the shoe itself, I don't mind it so much, but I do really enjoy it. Cause I do notice that it does make the uh, hosiery last a little bit longer. I just stretch my feet when I've been in heels all day. I do that a lot actually trying to elongate because when you're in a shoe like this, um, the muscles that you're using because of how your foot is, the tendons tend to um, shrink. So I'm always trying to do exercises with my legs so that it doesn't um, shorten them over time because that can happen. But we love, we love our shoes. We gotta take care of ourselves too. I, I think the black and the red is just amazing. Now, 
It wouldn't be a Michelle outfit today if you didn't do the walk. Oh, look at how frizzy I am today. Horrible. I'm due for a haircut. I'm waiting. I had to cancel my last one because um, I wasn't in town. But I'm waiting for my haircut patiently. I cannot wait. They, they do my hair so good too. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, let's do the walk, huh? I love the fit of this dress. I think it's super cute. What I love about this style is this style could work on just about every body type because of where it cinches at the waist. For somebody like me who has more of an hourglass shape, um, it's just the perfect proportions. If you have a straighter body shape, it gives the illusion of curves. Like this style just looks so wonderful on so many body types. I really wish that we could bring, instead of like, we need to bring back the, the old ways of dress, like the 40s, the 30s, I like the 20s, I'm not so much. I didn't like the drop waists on the girls' dresses, but the 30s, 40s, 50s, if we could bring back that genre, like, and like the trench coats and the hats for the men with the, I'm telling you, it was like the best time in fashion. Maybe not necessarily in the world because, you know, World War, all that stuff. was nice. And, pan and hosiery was very popular back then too. Um, and then when the war happened, women tend to use like an eyeliner on the back of their leg to give the illusion of hosiery. Um, that's how like big of a thing it was in fashion at the time. And it's fallen out of it. Although I haven't seen, it looks like it's trying to make a comeback. We'll see. Um, your girl's been, <laughs> I've been setting the standard for it for a while. So before it was in fashion, Michelle was rocking it. I love the way this, the ice. You guys let me know. Do you think that this look would be benefit better from a tan or a nude hosiery? Or do you like the black? I'm really digging the black. I typically do go nude, as you guys know. Maybe a suntan. But I'm really feeling this. I really love it. And the dress itself is just so beautiful. I love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.